Okay, here it is. We're walking towards today's total headliner agenda, which is Tuesday, March 15th. It's the brand new opening of the Little Mermaid collection here at Vera Bradley, and I am so excited to see if they have anything left. Let's go check it out. Okay, so Lily Pulitzer has teamed up with Disney for a new collection here. You can see Mickey and Minnie and the castle. I believe this dress is the only one that I'm seeing here. Let's see, how much is this one? $158 for this dress, but they've got all kinds of sizes here. Only extra, extra small, extra small, and small for right now. But it's a super cute dress and so thin. I love it. Here's a few more dresses right here, and then they've also got a shirt. It's more of like a spirit jersey style. This one's for 78. It's got this cute little Mickey emblem here at the bottom, but then they've got the lily print here on the top. They got medium. Oh, here's a t-shirt that's got like a v-neck to it too. I think that one is only an extra, extra small. That one, the v-neck t-shirt is 58. Then they've got more of a beach style dress there. It's got nice little crisscross design in the back. It's kind of a knee length dress. Uh, 128 for that one. And then we've got the leggings here. They've got a nice little pocket here on the side. White mesh there towards the bottom. They kind of feel like felt a little bit. They're really, really nice. These are, let's see if I can find it. 128 there. That's awesome. This is it. Look at how beautiful they are. They've got a beautiful crossbody here. Oh, this one's so nice. Then they've also got kind of a, like a bowler bag almost. They're called, and uh, this one's a triple compartment crossbody for 85. They've got a wallet here. So it's got a zippered part, a little smaller part here in the front. I don't see the price on that one. Just right off the bat. They've got a phone holder that's got a lanyard for it for $32. They've got just the wallet, the bigger bags, the duffel bag. Look at this one here with Ariel brush in her hair. They've even got a backpack. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, and they've got a blanket and the tumbler. Would Nat not be the most adorable thing with this little backpack? So it's super short, super small. It's so cute. It's got little pockets on each of the sides and it's got like a drawstring here on the inside. Can you see? Oh, so, so nice. And then they've got the backpack here. Look at how cute this blanket is. Oh, I need it all. Oh, look at the tumblers too. These are so cute. How much are these? 25. $25 for a tumbler. That's really not that bad. If you're into more of like the lounge, Wear. They've got um, lounge pants for $50 here. You can see Ariel. They've even got the matching shirt here too. And then if you want not just the pouch with it, but you'd want just the lanyard, you can do that as well. Looks like these are 25 just for the lanyard. If you want just the keychain wallet with the little window here, $20 for that one. But then they've also got this style as well. So you've got Ariel um, and Flounder right up here. And then they've got a little thicker lanyard too for like keychains, but look at this little metal emblem here. It's a little seashell. And if you're, oh, here's all the, the different uh, prices here. So they've got a Vera tote in each color, 120, 150. The smaller Vera tote, the weekend travel bag, triple compartment crossbody, medium travel duffel, the mini backpack, campus backpack, bucket crossbody, RFID all-in-one crossbody, triple zip hipster. <gasps> Look at that shell cosmetic case. Oh, sorry. I did not realize that this was all out of focus, but these are all the prices here. They got a plush throw blanket in two different, oh, two different uh, styles. And then they've also got a beach towel and they've also got a passport wallet too. It says, put your best fin forward. Oh, and the pop sockets in the print. How cute are these? Sorry, I'm having a hard time focusing here. The pop sockets are $19.99. If you wanted to, so those were just the bags. If you're wanting to continue these on, these are all the other ones that they have. Even a lotion bag, an aerial bag charm, breakaway lanyard, flip flops, crew socks, loungewear, pajamas, tumbler, pop sockets, you name it, they've got it. These are so cute. 
Look at all the other stuff. So here's the passport one. They've got the bigger tote, the duffels. Oh, these are so stinking cute. Look at the stitching on this. This embroidery is gorgeous. And if you purchase something here at the Bear Bradley store at Disney Springs, they can even monogram for you. I believe if you're a Disney Vacation Club member, and it may not apply to these styles since they're brand new, but they will usually waive that monogramming for a minimal monogram for you. Ooh, look at this beach drawstring. This is cute. This one says thingamabobs on it. Oh, how beautiful. Ooh, look here. Here's a good look at that throw here and all of the area we'll put it to. All right, you croc wearers, they got the crocs too. These are super cute. And they have, even have youth sizes. And they've even got flip flops here too. So they've got Ariel on both of these. These are 35. It's not so bad for flip flops. Yes, please. Oh, those are cute. Are they comfy? Oh, they're very comfy. Okay, I love it. You convinced me so now. Right over here next to the Rainforest Cafe entrance is the new Swirls on the Water stand. It was formerly the Aristocrates stand here, which they've now relocated to the Marketplace Snacks just a, across the way if you still want those bubble waffles. But just yesterday, they reopened this location along with several different um, really nice, fanciful flavors of Dole Whip. So we're gonna go in here and try them out. There's a few more remnants left of the Aristocrates. If you can look really closely, you can see Toulouse right here in the center. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Okay, so here it is. This is now Swirls on the Water. They've got the panela, pineapple and vanilla, panela, <laughs> lemon and blue cookie dough, habanero lime. They've even got a habanero lime nacho. Then they've got a 50th celebration cone here. It's got topped with like a little chocolate uh, fondant there. Then they've got a Dole Whip Flight, which has three of the Dole Whip flavors. Of course, they've got the standard Dole Whip Float and then Float topped with rum, which also looks a little fruity there. And then the Sangria Float. Ooh, that one sounds good too. I don't know what we're gonna try. Let's figure it out, because we're right here at the stand. So we've got the rum float with the pineapple, and then we've got the flight trio here. Spoiler, I've got my good friend Iggy with me today. <laughs> I love this, this looks good. So this is the pineapple float mixed with regular pineapple Dole Whip and vanilla. Let's go ahead and try it out. Spoiler, Jonathan already tried it. He said it was really good for what it is. It almost tastes like a pina colada. Mm, not bad at all. So it's got the vanilla for sure, regular pineapple, and then we've got Malibu rum with it. This is good. This is really good. I really like this one, yeah. They have a sangria one that I really feel like I would like to try next. So next time for snacks, for sure. Sangria. So the flight here was $6.49 plus tax for all three. You can customize the flavors. You can get them all the same kind if you're splitting them with somebody, but we wanted to try all the different flavors. And our remnants of the pineapple vanilla swirl float, rum float with the um, Malibu topped float was uh, $10.99. So not, not a bad snack. Nice shareable snack for being out here at Disney Springs now. I think this is gonna make a great addition down here. Okay, so we're out here with our good friend Iggy. We decided to just kind of go in together and try this new flight. So I'm gonna try them all first. This is the um, pineapple and vanilla. Dole Whip with the vanilla. Standard Dole Whip. It's got a, a piece of pineapple in it. It's nice, it's awesome. I'm really anxious to try this cookie dough and Dole Whip though. I don't know that it's Dole Whip. I think it's some no, sorry, you're right, it is. It's lemon and blue cookie dough. You can definitely taste the lemon, but I can't really taste like the cookie dough. Maybe I just didn't get enough of it. It is what it is. And then this last one is habanero and lime. Habanero. Is it like this? habanero? Ooh! Yeah, it's got a little bit of an after kick to it, for sure. You can spill, feel the spice a little bit in your throat. But for the most part, it's more like a tangy orange sherbet. It's not bad, not bad at all. Um, 
there you have it you guys that was our adventure for an afternoon out at disney springs please 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 check out this vera bradley collection before it blows away it is phenomenal i'm super stoked to try and get a couple of extra pieces in my own don't tell john like um, but for now, I think this is where we're going to leave you, and I will catch you guys on the next ride. Take care, everybody. Bye.